Sometimes you may wish to add chart objects, notices or nave text warnings to your charts manually. In the FMDFDs, the function which allows you to do this is called manual updates. The manual update function is only available in Navi mode. To create and add a new chart object using manual update function, you can start by right-clicking on chart in approximate position where you want the object to appear. Or you can start by clicking on manual update button in the instant access bar. There are two pages in the manual update window. List, contains a list of all the manually created updates that are currently applied to the chart. Planning, is used to create and apply new objects to the charts. You select the planning tab to display the planning page of the manual update window. Then you click on the add button to open the select object window. The select object window allows you to choose from a long list of different types of chart objects. The drawing type drop down menu allows you to choose between three general types of objects. Point, contains point objects such as buoys, beacons, buildings, checkpoints, lights, etc. Line, contains line objects such as cables, bridges, navigation lines, rivers, railways, shoreline constructions, etc. Area, contains area objects such as administration area. Anchorage area, caution areas, fairways, restricted areas, submarine transit lanes, etc. Now you select the specific type of object you want to create by clicking on the appropriate icon in the icon window. The list of icons is quite long, so remember that you can scroll the list using the scroll bar to the, the right of the icon window. To create an East Cardinal buoy, first click on the buoy cardinal icon to select that specific type of object. Then you move the cursor to the position in the chat where the buoy must be placed and you left click to insert the preliminary symbol for the object. If necessary, then you can edit the position of the inserted object by selecting position in the attributes list and then enter the appropriate latitude and or longitude in the edit attributes value list. You can then select other options in the attributes list and define shape, color, category, etc. of the object so that the manual update is displayed correctly in the charts where the update is committed.
Other attribute options include, but are not limited to, date end and date start, that will allow you to specify the time period where an object will be displayed. and periodic date start and periodic date end. The annotation box allows you to add a textual comment to the, the manual update. This text could be information about who is responsible for creating the update and or information about from where the update information was received, nave text, notices, When the update configuration is completed then you must click on the commit button to commit the manual update to the charts. When a manual update object is displayed in the chart then it is shown with a thin orange line attached. The thin orange line is an indication of that the operator created the chart object manually. The manual update window also allows you to modify and delete an object. Select an object that you want to modify, from the object list on the list page of the manual update window and then click on the modify button to open the attributes editor on the planning page and edit slash modify the object attributes. Then modify the attributes of the object and commit the changes to the charts. If you want to delete an object, then place the cursor over the object in the chat and right click. The context sensitive menu will then appear and you can select manual update to drop down a list of available update actions. In the drop down list you must click on delete. The delete object dialog will then appear. In the delete object dialog you must then select click on the appropriate object to delete. The selected object will be shown in the preview window and the delete button will become active. Click on the delete button to delete the selected object. The deleted objects will be indicated by an orange diagonal line crossing the object in the charts.